Barber Shop at home. Yes, I'm back. It's been a long time since February 26th. Actually, probably earlier than that, probably sometime early February since I've done a video. Uh, not to go into too much detail, um, as some of you know, but for all my subscribers, first and foremost, I want to apologize for my absence. I also do want to apologize for not answering uh, some of your stuff. Uh, we've had a major uh, situation. We had a death in our family, and we've been doing with all of that. So first and foremost, I want to thank everyone on the Shaving Cadre uh, that has sent their cards, letters, and condolences uh, to our family. We certainly appreciate that. And for those of those subscribers that know me personally, uh, that as well. We are coming out of it. And uh, this is kind of my debut to get back into uh, the Shaving Cadre, which of, of which I'm one of the owners, as well as starting to do my shave videos again. In the beginning, I probably will not be doing three shave videos a week. Uh, it'll probably be once a week or maybe once every two weeks. Uh, my barber shop uh, has exploded. Um, obviously, I had to play catch up for taking some time off uh, to deal with uh, the family issues. And so uh, that has finally calmed down, but I'm booked out about a month to a month and a half in advance uh, right now. So that's been busy. So again, my apologies. And also, um, uh, those of you that know UA Cowboy Kyle on the Shaving Cadre, uh, if you've watched his video, um, some very uh, large uh, revelations uh, that uh, I had indicated to him because I'm his barber and he's a good friend of mine. Uh, I have not shaved with a straight razor since probably the middle of February or whenever my last straight shave video was. Uh, in fact, it wasn't in February because we were doing the one blade, one uh, soap challenge. So uh, I have not actually shaved with a straight razor, honestly, since... January, I believe, is when we started that. I can't remember. Maybe the beginning of February. I can't remember. But it's been a while. And uh, due to everything that's going on, uh, kind of a hard decision because straight razor shaving is what I do for a living. And it's also uh, what I love. And I've got, uh, well, more straight razors than I'd like to admit. And as Kyle had indicated, um, it's something that uh, I've decided to not do anymore. Um, I will still be doing my shaving videos, but I just don't have the time for honing. I don't have the time for all the maintenance and stuff that it takes, as well as the concentration of a straight razor shave, uh, especially with the frame of mind that things have been going on and with everything being as busy and we're doing some remodeling and everything else. So as some of you do know that I did, uh, gift, uh, the razor, uh, which is, um, the Corat Ice Dragon, uh, to him. And he was kind enough to say that if I ever wanted it back, that he would just hold on to it for me. Uh, that razor was a very special gift uh, that was given to me uh, for quitting smoking about five, four or five years ago, something like that. So it meant, it meant a lot to me. Uh, so uh, as Kyle had also mentioned, uh, you may want to keep an eye on the BST on the uh, shavingcadre.com uh, for um, a multitude of razors uh, that may go on the chopping block. And uh, another revelation. Just kidding! Are you crazy? I will never, ever, ever give up straight razor shaving. And uh, this was actually for Chad C. Vargo on the shavingcadre.com because he loves that Ice Dragon razor and he's always calling it his razor. So Kyle and I, actually more Kyle than me, uh, came up with a crazy idea to do a video. Hopefully by the time this video was posted, uh, Chad uh, will have watched the video. But no, I'm not giving up straight razors. I'm not giving up any of my straight razors. There will be nothing on the BST uh, other than maybe some soaps and some aftershaves. That much is true. I am paring down from the 500 or so soaps that I have, as well as the thousands of aftershaves that I have, I will be paring that down. But no, I will never, ever, ever stop uh, shaving with a straight razor. So hopefully Chad and anybody else who saw this uh, can uh, breathe a sigh of collective relief, or in Chad's case, a sigh of, uh, I hate you, David, uh, for uh, the little joke that uh, Kyle and I played on him. So... So without further ado, let's go. And yes, I am going to do a straight razor shave. Now, this could be a train wreck because the part of me not shaving since January or maybe even before with a straight razor is true. I have not touched a straight razor 
So we figure, what the heck, let's go for broke. So today, we are going to be uh, shaving with Saponificio Veracino, of which I am a brand ambassador for. And we're going to go with one of the old school ones. We're going to go with Dolomiti, uh, which is a very spicy, peppery um, type of soap that actually has some silt from the Dolomites in northern Italy. And with that being an SV shave, we are going to shave with our Corat uh, Leonardo da Vinci uh, Full Bellied Hollow. Um, six eighths square point uh, for the aftershave we will be using dolomiti and for the edt we will be using mk tribute uh, which was also a gift of my wife's and for the brush we will be using the saponificio veracino limited edition uh saponificio veracino uh shaving cadre brush uh, for the powder, uh, talc, we'll be using uh, Parasso. And then I've added a couple of new things. I, I have started to use alum again. And then, uh, Nurse Dave, you might like this. I've started to add uh, Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is the cucumber that was gifted to me by KJ. KJ Vizino, the Vez 2, and everything else. So, let's see how this works. I hope everybody is doing well. And once again, I cannot thank you enough for all the... Uh, uh, condolences uh, for everything that's been going on uh, and everything else and for the hiatus uh, that we've been taking so thank you for that Dolomiti is a favorite of most SV aficionados. Uh, it's one of their older uh, versions. They have not come out with a new beta in this one yet. I think this is four point. Uh, I want to say four point one or four point two, but it's still a wonderful soap. And as with all SV soaps, very natural. And we'll take on quite a bit of water. I've also changed up a little bit on how I add the water. I used to dribble the water on and uh, incorporate it. Now I kind of dip the tips in four quadrants, both uh, my left side, my right side, and then on my neck and try to get the soap nice and creamy throughout and with SV it doesn't it doesn't take a lot the Corrid has been stropped uh, 25 and 50 and I did remember how to strop but this will be interesting because as I said um, shaving with a straight razor can be a uh, a lost skill, especially with a full belly hollow, but I figured if we're going to do it, might as well do it right. Okay, here we go. First pass. So far, so good. So again, Chad, sorry to uh, play the big joke on you, but uh, we had to. And this is about three days of growth. 
but as with any Corats, this mows things down pretty, pretty quick. Okay, there's the first pass, and actually, no train wreck. So what we're going to do now is, so we don't bore you, we're going to go ahead and finish up our next two passes, and we'll come back for final comments right after that. Welcome back, everybody. Certainly appreciate it. We'll be back in just a few minutes. We're back there was three passes and out and so far it doesn't look like any uh, any train wreck so for those of you that were waiting for the big NASCAR wreck it didn't happen but we'll see when I add the alum so far it feels pretty much DSBBS but we shall see
And we're using the Parasso Elm. A few tingy, stingy spots, but I think that was because my... It's been so long since I've used this straight, I think my, uh, my touch is a little bit heavy, uh, which is to be expected, considering I've been using DEs and, and SEs since then, so not too bad. But definitely DSBBS. Which is nice. And it felt good to shave with a straight razor again. Uh, like I said, one of the new things I've added is I've added witch hazel to my regiment. Uh, normally I'd be doing the lavender or the lemon, but uh, KJ gifted me this uh, cucumber. And the cucumber is really nice. It's got a nice, uh, nice cooling. And when I use uh, Frank's uh, Fresh, the Ethos, that's got a cucumber and a mint and a lemongrass. Uh, it's perfect for the ethos because it just it just uh, uh, blends in perfectly. Yeah, that's definitely a good shave. So, looks like uh, I've been informed. Looks like things at the farm are going very very well. We want to thank all of you members uh, for sticking around and being a part of the shaving cadre and I would encourage any one of my subscribers to head on over to the uh, shaving cadre and uh, check us out see what you think take us for uh, a little bit of a test drive if you will <coughs> this is gonna be like I said a little bit longer video than normal uh, just because I'm getting back into the swing of things uh, but if you haven't tried uh, SV Dolomiti, do so. Uh, these round alderwood bowls, they don't make anymore. Uh, they've replaced them, but uh, they're wonderful. Okay, for the aftershave, once again, I'll be using one of the older bottles of uh, Dolomiti. And the one thing with any of the uh, SV aftershaves, for those of you that may not be using Sepin Vichuvaris, you know, make sure you shake it up. These are all done with natural alcohols. And... Uh, good face stuff and you only need uh, if you can see there just a couple of drops that's all you need very very peppery and they have not made as far as I know they have not made a an EDT or an EDP for Dolomiti although I think they're planning on it uh, but just a wonderful, nice, spicy, peppery. Good for summer, though, because it still has the citrus. And then, uh, obviously, you guys know that uh, we'll be using talc. And today, we'll be using the Parasso talc. And I think this is uh, rosemary and mint, I believe. And for those of you that have been asking... Um, that I have not answered back. The powder sets the shave. And no, I'm not worried about cancer because this is, most talcs are now uh, cornstarch based. They're not talc based. But even if they were, that has largely been disproven that there were other factors involved besides the, the talc. It's like anything else. Uh, we hope everybody's safe. Oh, just a wonderful shave. And we'll be using MK Tribute. Uh, this is a, believe it or not, a Mary Kay product. And I don't believe they make it anymore. So this is the last bottle, I believe, that I have. But it is a wonderful, wonderful, peppery, wonderful uh spicy green um just really good stuff now, the only other one that's close to this would be czar which uh, is made by van cleef and our so there you have it folks 
Thanks for joining us at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. We certainly appreciate you joining in. Uh, once again, I want to thank everyone uh, for the condolences uh, with the death in the family we had. And hopefully uh, I will be getting more and more active back on uh, my forum and also be putting out more videos. Also, I wanted to promise that I'll try to get back to everybody on their comments. I know that people have been concerned where I've been. Well, now you know. So once again, thank you for joining us at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. And we'll see you again real soon. And don't forget, www.theshavingcadre.com. Thank you.